In this module, you will learn about reverberation and uses of multiple reflections of sound. The persistence of sound in big enclosures, like auditoriums, is the result of repeated reflections of sound and is called reverberation. Excessive reverberation in an enclosure is highly undesirable because the sound becomes inaudible to the people in the enclosure or auditorium. This is generally minimized by covering the walls, the ceilings and the flooring using sound absorbent materials like cardboard, thick curtains and fiber. Sound absorbing materials are also used in seats in the auditorium. However, multiple reflections of sound have a wide application in our daily life. A doctor using a stethoscope to give you a checkup is a very common sight. A stethoscope uses the principle of multiple reflections to help the doctor hear your heartbeat. Let's take a look at how it works. The chest piece of the stethoscope consists of a plastic disc called the diaphragm, which is placed on the patient's body. The sound of the heartbeat vibrates the disc. These vibrations produce pressure waves which travel to the listener's ears through the hollow tubes by a series of multiple reflections throughout the tubes. There are various other applications of multiple reflections. Megaphones, horns and musical instruments like trumpets are designed to magnify amplitude of the sound and reflect and propagate sound waves in a particular direction. The curved ceilings of cinema halls and conference halls are also designed keeping the principles of multiple reflections in mind. The curve in the ceiling ensures that the sound is reflected to all the corners of the hall so that there is an even distribution of sound. In some cases, a sound board is positioned behind the stage so that the sound waves produced are spread across the hall evenly. However, in cases where these halls are not designed properly, multiple reflections can lead to uneven distribution of sound. Mojpur in the Kutch area of Gujarat has very erratic rainfall.